So let's begin. And I so love it. We do have the magician and the hangman. We have awareness and we have sacrifice. Somebody here is awakening to the energy of, oh my God, I've sacrificed my whole life for this. And maybe we are ready for something new. Oh my God, really wanted to come out the nine of swords, suffering in silence and sacrificing. Oh, come on, Pisces. Oh, baby, that's painful. And the magician. Time for something new. This is manifestation. This is intent. This is practices of healing. This is feeling and feeling, mo feeling more and more confident that actually we need and deserve a new beginning. And we have the tools to achieve it. Hangman and um, the Hierophant. Somebody, um, I, you know, some of you, this is about marriage. Somebody uh, here is all about wisdom and sacrifice. Uh, I'm getting smarter, actually, about a sacrifice that we were making. For some of you, actually, this is a marriage that ha might have been sacrificed in the process. Ace of Wands. We want and we need passion and commitment. We need something different. We need to be in the midst of something solid, right? So let's see bottom of the deck for the overall energy. Absolutely lovers, absolutely wish fulfillment, absolutely ace of swords and absolutely the sun <laughs> and the ace of swords again. Are you kidding me, Pisces? I want to be a Pisces today, please. <laughs> you might be dealing with a Leo or you might be dealing with a Gemini. You might be dealing with a lover. Um, and you know what I'm and I know some of you might be like this new commitment that you have with somebody in your love or somebody makes you happy and they are your wish fulfillment and they make you all enlightened and light in a sense that um, kind of easy breezy kind of energies. And we'll see how the reading goes. But what I'm feeling with all this is the energy of boy, now I know what I want. You know, when we um, come out of a connection that is very challenging and very difficult and it's like, I know what I don't want and I know what I want for my next connection. And that level of clarity, Ace of Swords twice, you know, it's like, um, you know, uh, the mind is like a diamond, right? So it's very clear and also very sharp in terms of uh, what fulfills my heart and my soul and what makes me happy. And what makes me say yes, because you have Ace of Swords twice, a sense of clarity here. So let's see what else is here. Oh my God, is it, I mean, this is the best energy ever. The sun with twice the Ace of Swords, you cannot, you cannot have a more clear message of the universe saying that is no confusion. Uh, that is that is nothing that is in the shadows and we see exactly this is for what this is and you know exactly where you're heading um, with this one. Oh my God. And you're heading towards love and wish fulfillment. So I see it's past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Let me have current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome. For you, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Oh yeah, we really needed to see again the Nine of Swords and the Temperance, such that is energy, but can be actually the patience, being patient with the suffering you went through. For some of you, it's kind of like the universe reminding you, oh no, we need to be patient. It has been a hassle. Nine of Swords is a, a lot of tormented nights, right? And a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of stress. A lot of thinking, making scenarios in your head and just being all over the place. And when we receive Major Arcana, we know it's about lessons and pieces of advice. And the universe is saying, come on, baby, go slow. Go slow. Okay. I love this. Now, past energies, um, Pisces, disruption and love. <laughs> disruption in love, right? It has been a tower moment. It has been a life. A destroying kind of event and we had so much love for this person ace of cups is the the purest form of love it is a beginning for some of you might have been a connection that never really took off properly we do have ace of swords twice which is again an indication of new beginnings and an indication of the clarity of intent we wanted this love 
Um, probably you extended a cup and uh, you were met with a disruption of some sort and uh, disruption of and um, big disappointment, right? The tower moment. And I know it's, it's always a matter of perspective in some way and it has this idea of actually it's not that they left, the universe took them out of their way, out, out of your way, right? So that you can walk towards your destiny. Nonetheless, I'm sure it was painful and you had to put uh, the pieces back together because the tower moment comes to kind of clean the place of a per, uh, particular situation or person, but the debris are all over the place, right? So we had to mop the place clean. Pisces, I don't know, you might, be, you might be dealing with a Leo. You have such a strong energy of Leo. You do have the sun and the strength now. This person, um, strength and wheel of fortune. They might have brought changes upon us. They might have changed um, their feelings about you. They might have, um, you know, uh, been a little bit tamed and, um, you know, kind of uh, in retreat and not extending. But, but then the universe took them away, right? We know the wheel of fortune is the energy of changes, fundamental changes. And whatever happened in whatever tower moment was brought upon, they were going through the same but different, you know, not the disruption of the tower, but still up and down kind of energies, unstable energies where they were completely moved to a different um, set of circumstances in some way. And because your reading is so clear, you get twice the Ace of Swords, now we get twice the Tower. Kind of the universe saying, hey, it was a shitty situation. I know. I know. Um, so we do have the Tower. Uh, the universe saying it was disruptive for both of you. It was a Tower moment for both of you. You had to start over. And discontent and boredom, both not happy with what happened. The way it happened, how it happened, um, what followed, what was uh, brought down, uh, destroyed. Um, and on your side, a lot of love was destroyed and um, taken away from you. And on their side, actually, two major arcana, major transformation, plus a major arcana right in between the two of you, right? Lessons. And, um, and the, the universe intervening to kind of uh, put a, a stop to something that was not what it what was supposed to be strong leo energy over here for some of you um pisces so where are we right now we do have a positive movement forward this is the eight of pentacles probably focusing on work um school education learning something apprenticeship and the six of wands right your personal victory your personal life putting pieces back together doing the work um, taking pride in whatever you're building at this time and um, and doing for yourself the effort that you're making this is it feels like a, a, a pat on the back it's like I'm doing good I'm doing good it's been um, it's been um, like big struggle but you know what I'm I'm, I'm fine you know I'm, I'm seeing small victories um, out of your own dedication um, dedicated effort positive movement whatever because and I'm happy to see the overall energy is the clarity of the mind. And once we have this, we gain perspective and we finally can put the wheel uh, in motion, the wheels in motion. And I'm sensing this is where we are, right? We want to see things um, and some victory after all this pain. Um, now, Pisces, this person of yours, uh, of course, they want reconciliation. Of course, they want your loving self close to them with the three of cups, rejoice and celebration. But they have also the Nine of Wands. It's the energy of hurt. It's the energy of self-protection, self-care, self-healing, um, rest, and um, being in retreat, and spiritual strength. Somebody here, yes, they have this side of um, I want back, but they also have this energy of I'm going to grow from this. I'm going to um, survive this. I'm going to develop tools, um, spiritual ones, so that I can uh, move forward. That is um, their energy at this time. And let's have the mutual energies. Oh my God. So both of you, you want partnership and alliances. You both want together. You both wait on each other, but it's very secretive waiting, right? Seven of Swords. You are not saying a thing. They are not saying a thing. 
Um, and yet partnership and alliance is expecting for this connection to come back together, expecting partnership and um, and a form of action, a form of um, a form of I know they will come back to me. I don't know when, but I know they will come back to me. But as for me, I'm not going to move a finger in some way. Um, I know it, it it sounds like dishonesty but it's it's more self protection it's more from place of I'm going on your side you are more like I'm going to do me and I'm going to be victorious when it comes to me and what I accomplish and when my results while this person is kind of like yes I want happiness I want that but also I want to heal myself from this it's the wounded warrior with the 9 of wands so it's not quite a deceit. I know it's right in the middle of the reading, deception and envy, but it feels more like I'm going to hide my feelings till I feel strong enough. Now moving forward, we do have foundations and achievements and the hermit. So some of you, when it comes to this, we want to, you know, we take the, uh, um, the wise decision or making the wise decision. That's how it feels. Uh, when it comes to this um, commitment, relationship, marriage, uh, we do have foundation and achievements and yet is combined with the solitude card, right? We are very wise about it. For some of you, it's guidance. Let us be a little bit wise and let's not rush into things. Um, one is the energy of thinking, right? Pisces, the, uh, the hermit is the energy of introspection and thinking. And it is combined with the energy of marriage and commitment. So some of you actually you are guided to really take the time and think about and um, think about either this um, relationship that um, for some of you it's a real, um, you know, achievement or uh, it has like uh, important roots for some of you. It's just, um, you know, rethinking the whole um family mind frame or uh, values or standards or whatever whatever has you um, but absolutely or somebody is guided actually to be wise to read about that is a book there right to acquire some knowledge of some sort and and don't rush into things now this person of yours Pisces of course they want a firm foundation with you but look at this um, at the um, confusion right seven of cups they might have options this is also the energy of choosing wisely firm foundations and that's what they want to choose actually and i'm sensing that twice the ace of swords is actually clarity for both of you um on your side is more revisit it feels like more revisiting values and what a commitment uh, has to feel like and has to bring to the table on their side is more choosing clarity and choosing firm foundations after at our moment just like yours you know and hope and wisdom i love energies coming your way you do have the star divine guidance aquarius energy and the hermit virgo energy again and it is more on your side so i'm sensing pisces that we might be a little bit here a little bit in retreat at least that's the overall energy on your side right and more into thinking mode um, again, revisiting concepts and what you want from a commitment and a family and effort and and dedication uh, that you put whatever you want in return while this person is more hoping and um, wanting to come back. We have them, right? Aquarius energy. Strong energy of Leo, strong energy of Virgo, twice. Now you have Aquarius and that's about it. And Gemini okay such a beautiful a beautiful energy but it's interesting on your side Pisces I'm I'm more thinking that you are contemplating right more contemplating and on their side is like no I've been confused but I know I want reconciliation and firm foundations on their side while still being a little bit hurt nine of wands right now let's ask for some guidance Pisces let's see what we need to know or do for that matter right so let me have this one <laughs> Pisces that's crazy the universe is saying something to you here 
Um, we do have consider your foundation. Look at how committed you are to love, Pisces. And energy is coming your way. We have foundation and achievement. And it's compared with the wisdom card, which is a card of how about you deeply think about foundations and achievements, what you consider to be, uh, what you are willing to invest, what you are willing to create. And now the guidance is exactly the same. Consider your foundation. Look at how committed you are to love okay because you might be actually in a relationship and you are not that committed i love the divine feminine for some of you pisces being a divine feminine this is all about your higher self this is all about acting from a place of spirituality this is all about celebration of your um, divinity in you right but it's more about because it's guidance right we are guided um to come from from, from that place of a divine feminine when it comes to relationships, foundations, marriages, and so on and so forth. And we do have manifestation. Oh yeah, we have some spiritual work here, Pisces. Um, and we ask guidance for love and the universe uh, gave you personal guidance. And it is about manifestation, awareness, awakening um, to the divine in you, to the divine feminine in you, to the actions that a divine feminine would uh, take towards herself, um, towards the situation and the people involved. And we also have consider your foundation. Somebody here is guided towards spirituality, towards all its concepts of, um, and it starts with the manifestation, awareness, awakening, law of attraction. So here you have it. We asked for love and the universe said no by says that is some inner work that needs to be done before we move into a, um, to a connection that is um, spiritually guided um, and fulfilling. So, thank you, right? What can we say? Thank you. So, Pisces, the energies we need to put back into the flow, and we do have balance. So, somebody really needs a little bit of peace of mind. So, um, and harmony, right? So Pisces, this is what you have to tell yourself. It's an activation card, so this is what you need to tell yourself in order to activate balance. And you say, I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. We do have gratitude, speaking of thank you, right? We asked for love and the universe said, yeah, you have homework. And now we say thank you. So we really have to say thank you. We do have the gratitude to put back into the flow. So I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. So balance, gratitude, self-esteem, and surrender. I can release my need to control and we have friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So might be a confusion between love and friendship. We might think we are in love. We might be in love and we think it's a friendship because we do have friendship. I understand that a friend is in uh, my life for a reason and we also have love. I commit to the practice of seeing good in all things. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So we do have balance, gratitude, self-esteem, surrender, friendship, and love. This is an amazing, an amazing reading. Pisces, this is an amazing reading and I do get that you are on a journey, on a beautiful journey of wisdom, of awakening to past lessons. Um, and, um, oh my God, such a beautiful clarity, awakening, awareness, and light, and love. I love this. So Pisces, I wish you nothing but the best. I love you. Please take care. Please stay safe for me, and come see me next time. Bye.